Now I'm all shattered. Hi, my friends call me Lime and I've been exploring the causes of homosexuality and so, in a series of videos, I'm going to present what I've learned from the research that I've been reading and this video will be all about the effects of Jeeves. And as always, I will be referring to the research in the description. So, let me start by addressing the misconception that homosexuality can't be genetic because twins don't always share the same sexuality. Yes, some research shows that only around 20% of twins share a non-heterosexual sexuality and while other research show a result closer to 50, it's still not 100, so how can it be genetic? Well, there's something called epigenetics, meaning just because you have the same set of genes doesn't mean that they're switched on and off the same. Take the worst first cloned pet for example, do you see the difference in the color of the fur compared to the original? That is because of epigenetics, they do have the same sequence of genes, they're just not switched on and off the same, causing this difference. And in twins, genes can get switched on and off differently in each twin inside the womb, so straight people might actually carry inactive gay genes and this has implications for genetic research. So then what genes can cause homosexuality? Well, there's research scanning DNA connecting different regions to homosexuality and though some reach different results, there are those confirming the results of others and the latest research that I've read scanned the DNA of 384 families with two or more homosexual brothers and confirmed linkage to chromosome XQ28. And the research concluded that variations in male sexual orientation can reside in this region and in chromosome 8. Now, according to the authors, this result is relevant to the hypothesis that genes causing homosexuality in men gives reproductive advantage when expressed in women, which would explain how homosexuality survives evolution. And there's actually research showing that female relatives of homosexuals statistically produce, produce significantly more children than female relatives of heterosexual men, at least on the mother's side, and this was shown even when taking measures to avoid the fraternal birth or effect bias. And guess what? After a brief search, I found these indications that XQ28 is also involved in a woman's fertility. Now, some say that it's less about fertility and more about them becoming more attracted to men and therefore have more children, but either way, I found this interesting. It's just like nature is saying, yeah, is this Venus, goddess of love and fertility? Yeah, this is getting ridiculous, we don't need these families to grow faster, we need a higher ratio of people taking care of the kids they already have. Someone gonna need it to make some of these people gay. Because quality over quantity. No, I'm not gonna sabotage these people's reproductive organs making them infertile or taking their sexuality away from them. We're gonna try solving this using love. Yes, they can still have their own kids if they want to. This is just about frequencies. So, thank you for watching. I'm planning on one more episode on this series. But I will need a little bit more time for that, so I'm going to release a different episode in between. And if you don't want to miss one of them, then click that subscribe button. Bye.